What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another ready for action player guide, training guide, breakdown, recommendation, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be doing a deep dive on Neuer today, right? So 95 rated goalkeeper. The only thing I don't like about Neuer lads is his player ID can be absolutely crazy. Like he can do some serious shenanigans if you don't kind of watch where his positioning is, right? Because he rushes out, man. He goes crazy, okay? Now, he does have a low punt and long throw. I do like that the card has unwavering form. I do like this card. He's a big, huge presence in the goals. And I feel like I've done a lot of testing with goalkeepers since the last update, which was on Thursday, okay? And I think what people are kind of um, not really understanding is just how many rebounds are being like put into the pot of players, right? So the way that they've kind of done the goalkeepers now, not to get into all this thing, because I will cover in a future video, but the way they've kind of balanced the goalkeepers now is the smaller goalkeepers are really good reflex wise, but they don't command the area, right? So aerial balls and for interceptions where you get a shot really kind of off a counter attack, if it's a quick snapshot or a stunning shot, the smaller base goalkeepers, like height wise, like Ochawa, Cassius, any of those, they kind of struggle with um, follow-up shots like or you know second time shots or rebound shots right but the big goalkeepers are able to do better at that but then they don't have the reflexes of the smaller goalkeepers so so, so from pure shot point um or from from a pure shot stopping point of view the smaller goalkeepers like Ochawa and Casillas are better but it doesn't seem that way because of the way that the gameplay is at the moment so that's just something to keep in mind right but we are going to take a look at Manuel Neuer here we do have the training guide up for him as well uh, all you really need to look at with Manuel Neuer, lads, is the fact that he has got really nice reflexes, right? Which I always like, okay? We'll just get rid of that a sec. That's from the last video. Apologies about that. You don't really need to give any player skills to the goalkeepers, you know, once they have this. I mean, you could give him fight and spirit, but it's not going to make a massive difference. And you could also give him high punt. It's not going to make a difference either. Uh, penalty saver, he has that. He's only got 14 levels, which is a bit of a bust, in my opinion. I think the German pack had 15. Yeah, it did. Um, and he also had this pack, which was 16, but he had minus three in reflexes. So the Germany pack had minus three in reflexes, but plus two in catching. Um, I'm genuinely going to be boosting this guy up as much as I possibly can with the reflexes to kind of overcompensate for that little bit of an issue. I don't even think that it's an issue. I don't know what you guys have found. Um, but I found that when you are saving shots with goalkeepers, especially manual uh, shot stopping, with the smaller base goalkeepers that are under, say, 185 cm, and not like Neuer, Donnarumma, Courtois, Czech, uh, Schmeichel, any of those guys, um, they do kind of like, you know, the smaller goalkeepers parry it into dangerous areas, whereas the bigger bigger goalkeepers, they mightn't save as many shots, they mightn't get to as many shots, but when they do, they push it into a more safe area. So I think that's just how they've balanced it, right? But I'm just going to pop six in, six in, and seven in to goalkeeper one, two, and three. That's going to get us 91 reflexes. It's going to get us 85 awareness, 82 catch, and 83 parrying or clearing, and 86 goalkeeper reach. Now, there's one thing that you could do, right? I'm not going to make this video too complicated because people have been asking me how he compares to other players. There is one thing that you could do to this card to make him a little bit more uh, compact, right? As I said, I am a big fan of the reflexes, but if you actually wanted to balance this card um, as best as you possibly could... I would probably say try and get the goalkeeper uh, awareness up as high as you can, right? That would be my key to this card here. And that you could have a really nice solid version of the card here. 87, 80, 83, 89 and 86. You're still going to be playing Neuer when he has that unwavering form. And he's going to be getting the boost. Now you don't need as much jump here if you don't want, you know, if you're not going to be controlling the area uh, manually. You don't need that jump to be that high. So you could actually go to 70 or 85 on that. And then maybe 85 on that. That will get you 88 reach as well um, to be able to get to those kind of difficult to reach ones. But he's just such a big unit in goals. And that means that you'll get a nice blend of every stat there. But there's no real wrong way to train him. I always recommend just the way I like to train my players. I do like to get the reflexes as high as possible. I, I definitely like to get the reflexes up to at least in a 90 when I am actually getting the, the play style boost. Uh, or the form arrow boost, I should say, right? Now, people will also ask as well about other goalkeepers that kind of rank up like Neuer, okay? This Courtois that they had was the Shining Stars one that was released back in Christmas, uh, December 22. Um, very, very solid goalkeeper as well. I don't really take a shine to Courtois because he doesn't have low punt. He does have long throw, which I use quite a lot, 
But again, you've got the similar situation here that once you get to the 85 mark with a lot of these, um, a lot of these stats, you are going to have to pick where you get that boost from, whether it's going to be reach, whether it's going to be reflexes, whether it's going to be catching. You're not going to get like these kind of goalkeepers, especially Neuer and Courtois and Donnarumma, the standard versions of them. You're not going to get multiple versions of them where they have 90s in their stats. So you can't really go wrong with Neuer, lads. I just feel that you definitely have a big, the massive disadvantage of Neuer is the fact that he doesn't go ridiculously high with the stats. Um, and he can be a bit slow to get down on the ground sometimes with the, with the shots uh, that come in from first time shots and stunning shots. Um, but the big advantage of him here is you've got a player and you've got a goalkeeper that you can have between the sticks. With the way the current gameplay is, I would definitely recommend a bigger goalkeeper like Donna, Courtois, Neuer, Schmeichel, any of those big boys that are very tall, very physically dominating in the goals. Um, and let the AI do all the saves really for you, unless you're really good at manual saves, which is, it takes a bit of time, right? But I do think that you've got two huge things going for him, is you've got a 365-day contract when you sign him, and that will carry you into eFootball 2024. And also, when the form starts to come back, Bayern are usually winning games, so he will probably be on a form that you can just slot him in at any given time. Um, and I also think as well as that, he's got excellent player skills, and as I said, he's a free player. That's the big one here. Now, I do think they are going to bring out other players. We'll get a look at that in a future video. Um, but I definitely think that Neuer is worth a five star if you want to get him. Just be careful of his position, lads, because he does come out sometimes that you can get long range shots scored against you. But that is it for me, lads. The throat's a bit sore. I think I'm coming down with a, a little summer flu or something. But we will be back later. Hope you guys enjoy the video as usual. Thumbs up from Neuer for me.